going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Here we are in our weekly cycle as we had anticipated and hoped. Apple has just released iOS 17 Beta 6. If you can believe this, we're six betas into these, not including all the re-released versions, and we are really expecting some fine-tuning in this one. So, obviously no new features should be discovered. Yes, there might be some more UI tweaks, but just stability improvement is what we are really hoping for on this one. Beta 5 was terrible. It started out really good, but my phone has just been draining battery, overheating, and lagging, and being more glitchy than some of the earlier betas were. As I said in our other video too, this beta cycle for iOS 17, I don't know if it's the chips that it's using, or the new architecture for iOS 17, or what the scenario may be, but it is just a combination of a bad user experience for anybody running the betas. I know a lot of people haven't complained about uh, a lot of stuff in regards to it, but there are definitely a lot of opportunities that I'm hearing from the developer side as well with regards to this beta. Anyways, having said all that, we'll keep this one short and sweet. There shouldn't be too much to look at. Let's go ahead, take a look at the build number, see how the heating issue was with the update process, and go from there. Let's go. All right, iOS 17 beta 6 just finished installing, as you can see down here. And I gotta say, right off the bat, it is still running a little warm, uh, as usual, but not terrible by any means. You can see 104, 103.9, so basically 104, 100 degrees. So the hot spots, usually on the top of the phone in the top corners, um, is definitely still showing significant heat. Um, but at this point, I mean, I, we probably shouldn't be surprised. Something's definitely going on. And if you guys can believe it, we are less than only a month away from the new iPhone 15 series, and I can't be more excited to get rid of this 14 Pro Max. Now, having said all that, due to the heating and the under-optimization of these, uh, whether it's the chip, like I said in our other video, or the actual iOS 17 betas just being very buggy, um, just something to keep in mind. That's probably what's been degrading a lot of people's battery health quicker this year than years in the past. So let me go ahead and just get in here. And okay, jumping right into settings, general, about, you can see we are now on a C build. So this new build is 21A5312C. That is awesome. That is very significant. As we anticipated last week, we are on that normal weekly release cycle now and should be getting these uh, really for the next three weeks. The fourth week should be our official release, but this is just my speculation from years past. Within four weeks or so, the final version should be available and ready for everybody. So iOS 17 is right around the corner. Um, first things first, kind of jumping around, seeing how smooth everything operates. Uh, it's looking a lot snappier than what it has been. The keyboard's popping right up. That's good. We've known that to be an issue in the past. There is also an issue in messages. Sometimes the keyboard will pop up but the little typing script would not. I'm hoping that's fixed in here. Uh, and obviously, again, I am hoping for somewhat of a better battery experience. Let's look at battery health. You can see we're still at 86%. Uh, it hasn't taken another hit since beta 5, so that's a good sign as well. Um, but jumping around and jumping through it, everything does look pretty fluid so far. Uh, no complaints there. Going back into settings one more time, nothing really stood out. No... Again, we're not really expecting many new settings in this. Let's jump into the feedback app and see if that is even updated. So nope, as you can see, it's still behind and it is only showing beta 5 release notes. But even if you jump into here, you can see there is still a significant amount of issues and fixes from just a week ago. So you know Apple didn't unfortunately get to all these to fix yet. Um, so yeah, keep in mind, even though we are already on the sixth beta, this is not going to be perfect by any means. What we're probably expecting here is another possibly, like I said, about three betas with the RC coming after that, and then we should be good to go and hopefully everything will be optimized. I do want to show you, we just got a new splash screen when we clicked on photos, and you can see it's calling out albums in the photos widget, 
Pets albums, Pinch to Crop, and it's letting you know now when you pinch you can easily crop faster and more customizable memory options. So going past this, I do want to show you this update here was only 744 megabytes. Traditionally, they're in the gigs. So this is somewhat of a smaller update, hopefully just to address all the issues we've been having. So we will continue to do a deep dive. We wanted to let you guys know this is out and about. So go pick it up. It is in obviously an OTA download. I will call out also at this point, we should expect the public beta to be released tomorrow. Again, about three, four weeks more of individual weekly betas, and we should be good to go with the final. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.